In chemical nomenclature, the IUPAC nomenclature of inorganic chemistry is a systematic method of naming inorganic chemical compounds, as recommended by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. It is published in nomenclature of inorganic chemistry. Ideally, every inorganic compound should have a name from which an unambiguous formula can be determined. There is also an IUPAC nomenclature of organic chemistry system. The names caffeine and 3,7-dihydro 1,3,7-trimethyl 1-H-purine 2,6-dione both signify the same chemical. The systematic name encodes the structure and composition of the caffeine molecule in some detail, and provides an unambiguous reference to this compound, whereas the name caffeine just names it. These advantages make the systematic name far superior to the common name when absolute clarity and precision are required. However, for the sake of brevity, even professional chemists will use the non-systematic name almost all of the time, because caffeine is a well-known common chemical with a unique structure. Similarly, H2O is most often simply called water in English, though other chemical names do exist. Single atom anions are named with an ide suffix. For example, H- is hydride. Compounds with a positive ion. The name of the compound is simply the cation's name, followed by the anion. For example, NaCl is sodium chloride, and Caf2 is calcium fluoride. Cations which have taken on more than one positive charge are labeled with Roman numerals in parentheses. For example, Cu plus is copper, Cu2 plus is copper. An older, deprecated notation is to append O use or IC to the root of the Latin name to name ions with a lesser or greater charge. Under this naming convention, Cu plus is cuprous and Cu2 plus is cupric. For naming metal complexes see the page on complex. Oxyanions are named with ITE or 8 for a lesser or greater quantity of oxygen, respectively. For example, NO2- is nitrite, while NO3- is nitrate. If four oxyanions are possible, the prefix is hypo and per are used. Hypochlorite is ClO-, perchlorate is ClO4-. The prefix bi is a deprecated way of indicating the presence of a single hydrogen ion, as in sodium bicarbonate. The modern method specifically names the hydrogen atom. Thus, narco-3 would be pronounced sodium hydrogen carbonate. Positively charged ions are called cations and negatively charged ions are called anions. The cation is always named first. Ions can be metals or polyatomic ions. Therefore the name of the metal or positive polyatomic ion is followed by the name of the non-metal or negative polyatomic ion. The positive ion retains its element name whereas for a single non-metal anion the ending is changed to ide. Example, sodium chloride, potassium oxide, or calcium carbonate. When the metal has more than one possible ionic charge or oxidation number the name becomes ambiguous. In these cases the oxidation number of the metal ion is represented by a Roman numeral in parentheses immediately following the metal ion name. For example in uranium fluoride the oxidation number of uranium is 6. Another example is the iron oxides. FeO is iron oxide and Fe2O3 is iron oxide. An older system used prefixes and suffixes to indicate the oxidation number, according to the following scheme. Thus the four oxyacids of chlorine are called hypochlorous acid, chlorous acid, chloric acid and perchloric acid, and their respective conjugate bases are the hypochlorite, chlorite, chlorate and perchlorate ions. This system has partially fallen out of use but survives in the common names of many chemical compounds. The modern literature contains few references to ferric chloride, chloride, but names like potassium permanganate and sulfuric acid abound. Traditional naming Naming simple ionic compounds An ionic compound is named by its cation followed by its anion. See polyatomic ions for a list of possible ions. 
For cations that take on multiple charges, the charge is written using Roman numerals in parentheses immediately following the element name. For example, Cu2 is copper nitrate, because the charge of two nitrate ions is 2 times minus 1 equals minus 2. And since the net charge of the ionic compound must be zero, the Cu ion has a 2 plus charge. This compound is therefore copper nitrate. In the case of cations with a 4 plus oxidation state, the acceptable format for the Roman numeral 4 is IV and not 4. The Roman numerals in fact show the oxidation number, but in simple ionic compounds this will always equal the ionic charge on the metal. For a simple overview see, for more details see selected pages from IUPAC rules for naming inorganic compounds. List of common ion names monatomic anions Cl minus chloride S2 minus sulfide P3 minus phosphide polyatomic ions NH4 plus ammonium H3O plus hydronium NO3 minus nitrate NO2 minus nitrite ClO minus hypochlorite ClO2 minus chlorite ClO3 minus chlorate ClO4 minus perchlorate SO32 minus sulfite SO42 minus sulfate HSO3 minus hydrogen sulfite HCO3 minus hydrogen carbonate CO32 minus carbonate PO43 minus phosphate HPO42 minus hydrogen phosphate H2PO4 minus dihydrogen phosphate CRO42 minus Chromate Cr2072 minus dichromate BO33 minus borate ASO43 minus arsenate C2042 minus oxalate CN minus cyanide SCN minus thiocyanate MNO4 minus permanganate naming hydrates hydrates are ionic compounds that have absorbed water. They are named as the ionic compound followed by a numerical prefix and hydrate. The numerical prefixes used are listed below, mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nona, deca. For example, Q045H2O is copper sulfate pentahydrate. Naming molecular compounds Inorganic molecular compounds are named with a prefix before each element. The more electronegative element is written last and with an ide suffix. For example, H2O can be called dihydrogen monoxide. Organic molecules do not follow this rule. In addition, the prefix mono is not used with the first element. For example, SO2 is sulfur dioxide, not monosulfur dioxide. Sometimes prefixes are shortened when the ending vowel of the prefix conflicts with the starting vowel in the compound. This makes the name easier to pronounce. For example, CO is carbon monoxide. Common exceptions There are a number of exceptions and special cases that violate the above rules. Sometimes the prefix is left off of the initial atom. S207 is known as sulfur heptoxide, but it should be called disulfur heptoxide. S203 is called sulfur sesquioxide. The main oxide of phosphorus is called phosphorus pentoxide. It should actually be diphosphorus pentoxide. But everyone knows that there are two phosphorus atoms needed in order to balance the oxidation numbers of the five oxygen atoms. However, people have known for years that the real form of the molecule is P4O10, not P2O5, yet it is not normally called tetraphosphorus decaroxide. In writing formulas, ammonia is NH3 even though nitrogen is more electronegative. Likewise, methane is written as CH4 even though carbon is more electronegative. 2005 Revision of IUPAC's Nomenclature for Inorganic Compounds